today on the Link Star Show, we are talking about furries and therians. Are they similar? Not exactly. They're more like a stepbrother and stepsister. A furry is somebody who likes dressing up as their anthropomorphic character and is more of a fandom. But a therian is a person who feels spiritual or emotional energy of their theriology. And what does that mean? They feel the energy of their animal that they identify. And there are many different things that make you that animal, whether it's yeah, spiritual or psychologically. Some of the spiritual um, shifts are astral shifting. And this is when you leave your body through meditation and go to a different plane and become into your animal and are able to run around or see that animal within your astral plane. And this is one of the spiritual things. And another one is aura shifts. And an aura shift is through the electrostatic energy within the people you're around. The animals are the environment that you're in. And this can all vary depending on what is happening around you and how you're feeling because one shift isn't just triggered just by water if you're like a fish therian then it isn't just triggered by water it can be triggered but there are many different things that trigger it and there's different levels between it which kind of makes it confusing there are two different levels first level is syntherian which is where somebody will experience their theriology, their animal and human side, with small shifts that can be sometimes related to um, their human side, but also will have animalistic traits. And then there is contherian, which is a full integration, which means a full mixture of their animal and personal traits to be, yeah, like I said, integrated with their personality. And this can be stemmed from their environment. And when you hear environment, you might just think the outdoors, but no, it means emotional environments and other environments and you have to use deconstruction within the whole thing to actually figure out where it comes from and once you do that then you start learning about how psychologically if you have bad health that doesn't cause a good reaction within your theriology I've experienced it myself with eating just straight raw diet and then eating a bunch of cook and dyes. It actually messed with me and made my theriology even worse. Like I would have even more of the slow vision, but I would also be trying to even catch mice because like I wouldn't be like just catching random mice, I'd be doing it to protect my food. But that's the size of the point. We all have our issues and it doesn't make us bad within the theory and community. It makes us unique and special and we need to hone within our skills. We don't need to overindulge and try and force it. We need to adapt it within our own personality to strengthen ourselves within and take care of ourselves within and listen to what our body is trying to tell us.
and how we feel what we experience those shifts because you're never gonna feel better unless you actually know where it comes from because I do agree it can be very hard especially with people not understanding what we go through and belittling us and even if they don't even say it they still will try and beat us up because we're different and we just seem out of the ordinary we're like it said alter humans within the whole world and that's why a lot of them get sensitive when people say you need to listen to the sound of your animal you need to do this and believe in spiritual no you don't need to believe in one thing because that is the beauty it is not just spiritual and it's not just psychological it is the energy with it all around us and what we feel within it and there are so many things to explain and the beauty is just being you not letting yourself try and fall victim to be something that you're not but being who you are because there's nothing wrong with wearing fur and having a mask because we're beautiful people who are misunderstood within the community because Western thinking is a lot easier than questioning a person and understanding their true beauty within this world. You can't just attack a person. You have to understand a person. And you have to understand yourself to with understand who and what your theology is. And you can't force it upon you or else you create a toxic environment that will make you have a negative energy that your body does not need. But if you just let yourself go and find yourself within your whole emotional field, you'll find your theoryology. And that's how it is. But before I leave, because the sun is falling, I have to say, stay strong, Therians. Stay strong, Therians. Stay strong, Furries. Stay strong, Scalies. Stay strong, other kings. Stay strong, Alter Humans. We are all in this as one, but feel so damaged and we need to stay strong as a pack. I will be here for all of you. And if you have any suggestions, let me know. And I will talk about it within. If you want me to talk about my theology and some of the things I've experienced, I can do that. If you want me to explain how I've learned how to cope and emotionally deal with it, I can do that too because I've experienced con instant there area and how, how do you say somebody does that controlling their emotions and experiencing so much emotional hurt and pain from being battered that their adrenaline so high that it feels like an animalistic and you might say that might be berserk but berserk isn't just something that is induced no it can be something that happens to you does that mean that you're not a therian no not if it's a protection that is called an emotional shift and is absolutely natural and can happen within anger and then 
there's other shifts like by location shift where you envision your theory and animal yeah your theoryology your animal with in your physical realm and this is a psychological and there has been rumors of people saying that it can interact with the real world with their practice of the power and see that, that is the thing everybody has their own electrostatic power and they bring their own energy with what they do and what they say and they might do it randomly and have an animalistic energy like I have all my life and there's nothing wrong with it and it's called being a Therian or an other kin or an alter human and that makes you special but if you fake it then you're lying to yourself and you're just destroying the community it doesn't mean that you can't talk to people in the community it just means you can't claim your one you need to find something else within the community that you can relate to and I'll figure something out more but yeah but yeah stay str yeah I already said that but yeah stay strong and stay anti-zoo because we get too much of a bad rep and I'll be here for the community because I've just found this community and I've always been in it in my heart and now being in it I feel great but till next time on the Link Star show stay possum awesome.